Substitute House Bill 1915 on third reading and final passage remarks. The good member from the 16th, Representative Root. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm very excited that this bill is receiving a vote today. Um, I first wanted to thank uh, a couple folks. Um, Ashwin from the Tri-Cities area uh, has been working on this with me, as well as LIAC members, DECA members, uh, the State Treasurer's Office, um, the, the member from the 49th District, I believe, the Chair of FEP, um, the Chair of the Education Committee. Um, so this has very much been a, a team effort and builds on a strong foundation that was laid by others over the last decade. Uh, currently, financial education is um, required to be offered by public schools, but it's not a requirement for students to take the financial education. So this bill takes that next step, um, providing uh, half credit as a graduation requirement. Uh, OSPI already has learning, learning standards in place because it's already been required to be offered. Um, FEP is um, providing free training to teachers and free curriculum. So this bill uh, implements that graduation requirement for the 2031 graduating class, which was a, a date that um, was stakeholdered and uh, will at least get us uh, that requirement in statute. I would like to read, if possible, um, some of the learning standards, because a lot of folks are asking what this will entail. Please proceed. Some of those include uh, explain how credit card grace periods, methods of interest calculation, um, affect borrowing costs, decide the most effective loan options for paying for a car, illustrate the total cost of reducing a credit card balance to zero with minimum payments versus above minimum payments, outline the process of disputing inaccurate credit report data, so it is my belief that this is a really great way for us to equip our graduating students to be successful in their personal lives and their careers. So asking for your support. 